it's Dee with Desus Photography, and I'm going to show another alternative to sky overlays. Um, obviously, with anything in Photoshop, there are multiple ways to do it, and it's really a personal preference on how you want to do it and how you want to achieve that look. For this image, I am first going to call in the background because it is it was early morning, the sun was coming up, it blew out the whole background. So I'm just going to clone this all down to where it's just a white background to give me a nice clean slate to do work with. And um, I see I already ran two actions over my image. Um, that's a new one that I am working on. And that's the one that's with the workflow under, which is my favorite action I use on everything. But um, you can run those after whatever, however you're editing after you do this. So I will create a new layer. Go grab my clone brush, and I have my sample set at current, the current layer I have, and below. And I'm going to just, it's a soft brown brush, and I'm just going to use all, choose a spot up here in the white, and just brush it down. It's at 100 right now, um, and I'll reduce it. Oops, my computer's lagging. Alright, there we go. Now it's catching up with me. But I'll reduce it um, down in a minute. Alright, and um, sorry. <laughs> Got distracted there. So I'm just going to continue with my clone brush, and right now, like I said, it's at 100, and that's because I'm not anywhere really near anything important. I want to clone all this out anyway, so I don't have a problem with that being 100. That way I have to double clone there. And I, I clone with a pretty high opacity, but I've been cloning for a while, <laughs> and I enjoy practicing cloning. And as I get closer to the edge is where I'm going to, and closer to around her head, going to leave a little extra space so that I can bring a lower opacity brush in there and get a little bit closer. So it blends a little bit better. Alright. So now let's do it at 50%. Just hit 50 on your keyboard, or actually 5 works because it was already... And I'm just, and you can zoom in right here, I'm not, um, particularly worried about this image because I'm just showing it as an example, that was, when I was getting to someone I would get right in there, zoom in really close, and make sure that it was blended nicely. And I always, um, I always make sure I do it, like I said, on a new layer. That way, if I happen to accidentally erase too much or something like that, then I wouldn't have to worry about it. Um, like zooming in, I can see that there is still some yellow flux right there. Anyway, that um, if I wanted to, I'd just take, delete the whole thing, or I can easily erase it off there. Or I don't usually erase my mask, but either way, I don't have to worry about um, it being on my original background layer and ruining that one. I prefer non-destructive editing. Okay. Just try and get all those little gold flecks there. Alright. Fill screen. We're gonna, I like to back it up so I can see it a little better. And I'm going to get my magic wand tool. And since I cloned, I'm actually going to use click sample all layers. Now if you don't actually clone you can just not click that but since I cloned I'm going to sample all layers so I can get both which actually I'm going to yeah I was going to say 40 is too high on this now that I've cloned it down um, my tolerance at 40 means it's going to pick it closer colors to white and her dress is very close so let's try it at um, 25 and it's still doing that. Alright that's alright Let's do a 30, and luckily with your 
one selected. If you hit the Alt key, if you hold it down, you see this little negative sign by the magic wand, um, which is also option key on a Mac. And then you can change your tolerance to 20. And then go in and click that. You lower that tolerance down, it's going to. And then if you want to go here, this little spot is still outlined. If you hold the shift button and you click on there, you see the has a little plus sign means it's gonna add. The alt has the negative sign, which means it's gonna subtract it. And you just click it, and then you can adjust your tolerance before you do it. So you can also um, make bigger selections or delete bigger selections or make it more precise by going down on your tolerance level. So once I have my selection made, I should have placed my sky before because <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. We'll just go ahead and um, create a layer mask. I've created a new blank layer and put my layer mask on there. So we'll just click back on that blank layer, hit file, place, and go find um, my, I have so much file folders. Well, let's see if I want to use one of these. Actually, let's use one of the original ones. Let's do this one. Place it in there. And then I, there we go. Okay. Now, then I would have actually normally went and made my selection, clicked on my um, sky overlay, and then click layer mask. But that's not a big issue because if you just hold down the Alt key while dragging your layer mask, you can drag this exact layer mask on any image that you want. Alright, as you can see it's not still not all the way on the edge and I like, you can also play with your blend mode, set it to multiply and then it burns more, or multiplies kind of burns it more on the edge so it blends the edges sometimes better. It really depends on the image on that and then you can adjust your opacity down and then that's when you click on your layer mask. Go grab a black brush or a white brush depending on what you want to do if you want to add some more. We'll do a 25% and blend it down. And if you've got too much blending down, just get the black brush back out and go back over whatever it is you want to take it off your mask off of. And then you can also, um, you can also make sure your um, mask is selected. Go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and and then play with your uh, radius and you can even see in your image as it um, will blur your you can see right here instead of having all that fine detail it naturally makes it more natural in the blur usually when you do this sometimes though depending on how high you go okay um, you'll need to go back in the around these edges because it will blur them into black Yeah, all right. That was without the Gaussian, and that was with the Gaussian. As you see around the edges, it just softened them up for me without having to go in there and really fine tune it. Oops. All right. And then I just make sure if it happened to burrow that part too much, I can go in and do that. And then you can adjust your opacities, play with that. Uh, you can go in and place another sky. You can try out different ones. Let's try this one really quick. All 
And like I said, if you turn this one off, if you click on that layer mask called Alt Down, drag it on up, and you have to don't worry about redoing it, you just have that already done. Click the link and you can play around and move your um, actual sky. Set it to multiply and adjust my opacity down just a tip bit. And there you go, there's a different light. And so play around, figure out what you like. And that's just another way to um, use the magic wand and insert your um, sky overlays and how you can also play with your layer mask there. Hope you all enjoyed. <laughs>